How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. We've got a smashing video for you today with lots of gaming news from new upcoming games to existing games to new features, new DLC, new availabilities. It's all happening in this video. So let's get started. Let's get cracking and let this show roll on. So face change. Right, so the first thing we have over here is this gameplay of Starfield's upcoming vehicle land. Now this looks absolutely cool. I really like it. And you know, it's really fun to see vehicles in the game finally. I know certain people are gonna mock this and they already are mocking this by saying, well, yay, now we can get from point A to point B on the biome within a short time frame." To those people, I say, screw you. You're just salty, you don't have Starfield. One of the best games out of last year. But it is great and as you can see there, eh, eh game done but this is coming to an update near you very very soon so a nice way to start but you know what else is a nice way to start if you hit that like button and subscribe we are trying to get to two seven thousand two hundred and fifty subs so if you could help me get there that would be absolutely phenomenal don't forget to hit that bell to stay up to date with all content i release and if you want to support me further you can click that nice shiny button which will give you some cool emotes early access to videos and of course you'll be supporting me. What more could you ask for? You can also hit that super thanks, again, directly below the video, or just support me through my Patreon. All the links in the description below. Right, on with the actual content. So, Tango News, as you've seen in my previous video, has been going around. Good on Microsoft for actually making this happen and not giving up on Tango entirely, despite them having to close them down, looking for the, you know, looking for a, you know someone to be, essentially sell them off to so you know the tango name and the games can live on it seems microsoft has done an amazing job in the background working with clafton to you know come to an agreement and make this work it does look like all exist pre-existing games will remain on game pass uh a couple of the ips have remained with xbox evil within and ghostwire tokyo but also uh Hi-Fi Rush has gone to Clafton with Tanker Gameworks, signaling that uh, Hi-Fi Rush 2 possibly will be in the works or could be in the works already. That said, though, things are looking really bright. It, you know, the press release reads that they're going to have a, you know, a fruitful partnership and that this is a strategic partnership, meaning that a lot of these games may be coming to Game Pass already, being partly Microsoft funded, or that they are going to be on Xbox as a prerequisite of the actual transaction. So for all of you ponies out there, hoping that this is going to be a PlayStation exclusive, I think not. And this probably extends to all the future games that you know Tango is going to make. But you know what? All the crying and neighing out there, still blaming Microsoft for this, even though Microsoft, you know, worked extremely hard to make this happen and save those jobs. What can I say? People are just never satisfied. All right, so Forza Horizon 5 update rolling out today. Now, this was obviously on the 12th, so this is a few days old, and it adds cards you might actually drive in real life. So if we go into the actual article, uh, it's that time again. Xbox's flagship open world racing Forza Horizon 5 is getting another update. Uh, the high performance dailies update focuses on new cars everyday people can actually own and drive but can still dominate the track. Think of it like the Golf GTI, I'm guessing. But here we go. We got, we got, we got a trailer here. So let's play the trailer and see what's happening. Oh, this is a 40 minute thing. But as you can see here, you've got like the Mazda. And this looks kind of cool. And if we just forward it a little bit, you'll get to see some gameplay on this as well. So it's a cool update. One that a lot of people will enjoy, especially being able to drive cars that can actually, you know, feature within their budget, within this economic downturn and way of living. So, you know, not everyone can afford a Zonda or a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a supercar. So having something like this in a game that can actually become a bit more personal is always a good thing so good on them for doing such a thing and uh, next up we have this arcane founders new rpg shoots for fallout meets dishonored with a splash of obsidian storytelling 
one to keep a wolf eye on. So I've just highlighted a few of the areas here that are of importance. While the game's name is still under wraps, this new project is a first person action RPG that's set in an alternate America in the 1900s. So it kind of goes away from their what weird West type of isometric view. The new game's visuals will be grounded in a retro, let's uh, stop this, will be grounded in a retro sci-fi aesthetic and if the first three in-game screenshots didn't already give it away both its gameplay and art direction are intended to be something like fallout meets dishonored colantino says if there is such a thing as a continuum between fallout and dishonored i would say prey is somewhere in the middle because it's already more rpg than dishonored and this new game is somewhere closer to fallout as far as the rpg ness goes you can expect a lot of quest objectives such as investigate about this thing infiltrate that building but with any approach you want this can range from very, very direct approaches, perhaps utilizing the new weapon mods Wolfire making for this game, or more indirect methods such as talking your way in or out of a scenario with the game's speech options, which is really cool. And as you can see here, here's a screenshot of what the game, uh, you know, what the game looks like. This might just be a concept art, but it's still pretty damn cool. The world will be continuous too, allowing players to go anywhere and kill anyone you want, Colantino says. But he doesn't ever mention the words open world, so who knows how that is going to transpire. Alas, Wolfire isn't ready to reveal any details about the sighting event that the set is alternate timeline in motion yet either. So this could be an alternate timeline or not, it's currently unknown. Only that something happened in America and the player is going to find this out as they play, it's going to be one of the reveals in the development of the plot. So the actual location itself is hugely connected, which is cool. I think the big distinction we're making here is as far as the genre literature goes, this is more like sci-fi literature than it's Wild West or whatever he says. I think the Western is a genre of literature that people associate with certain types of scenarios like revenge or jewels, the streets. We don't have any of that. So it looks like it's going to be something really interesting, really cool. I don't think we're going to see anything from this at least until next year or maybe even 2026. But either way, it's one to keep an eye on. It is from uh, Arcane Founders. So who knows? This could actually be something really, really interesting. Definitely one to, you know, watch out for. Chernobylite is a game I've mentioned a few times on my stream. It's a very good game that I've personally enjoyed. It's based in the inclusion zone. It's really fun. It's available on all platforms except the Switch, I think. And worth your time. It should be super cheap right now. But apparently Chernobylite 2 Exclusion Zone has been announced for consoles and PC for 2025. The first sci person sci-fi horror shooter, open world combat, crafting team, and base management, and non-linear storytelling into a compelling and realistic post-apocalyptic action RPG. Now, yes, you may have seen the word base management there, which I absolutely despise. But this is one of the ones that I was actually able to stomach and play with. So that should tell you that it's actually really well done. And I actually really enjoyed enjoyed it a good game definitely worth checking out early access for terminator survivors delayed to 2025 another one of these uh, messages we are working very hard to bring post-apocalyptic world of terminator to life our goal is to create a deep immersive experience where each decision you make is crucial to your surviving over the past few months we've been really impressed by your enthusiasm and amazed by the response to our announcements and we know how eagerly fans are awaiting the terminator survivors to realize our vision and to make sure to deliver the game that fits your expectations we need some additional time Plus, we will be pushing the launch to 2025. We know that this will be a disappointment to many, but we want to do right by this universe, its fans, our community. In the long term, we believe this is the right call. All I'm going to say is if you're doing something like this and putting out a message like this, you better damn well make sure that the game is good, on point, and delivers. Because if it doesn't, this delay was a waste of time. I know a lot of people are looking forward to this game. I hope it does well. I'm a Terminator fan, so I'm looking forward to this. But... We'll see what it we will see when it comes out, right? Finally, Destin found something that PlayStation may have leaked, a Red Dead Redemption PC release. And so if we actually scroll down here as he's gonna do in the video, he you know, I'll make this bigger so you can see. 
Experience the epic Western adventures that defined a generation now on PC for the first time. So for all you PC nuts out there, Red Dead Redemption finally could be coming to PC. That is big, big news. And it's, you know, Red Dead Redemption is one of the genre-defining games. It is absolutely fantastic. So the fact that you'll actually be able to experience this 4K, 60 FPS, probably with a bit of ray tracing, running its optimum performance many, many years later, I think it's still worth your time and effort. I just hope it's not 70 bucks because that will take the royal piss. Just considering how old it is, right? Unless they fully remade this, like, in today's modern graphical interface. But... I don't see that happening. But it's great that they've actually managed to get it out there. And uh, good on Sony for leaking the information. Yay! So we have this final bit of news. Jason Schreier says, Heads rolling at Sony for the cancellation of The Last of Us online after four years in development. I guess they finally realized that Bungie basically got this project canceled for no reason and people decided to go along with it. And those that decided to go along with it uh, are now going to be uh, out of jobs. Uh, I wonder how the media is going to feel about this. Will they have another outrage? I mean, it is Sony, so I doubt it. More heads need to roll. Imagine cancelling something like that, but green lights in Concord. Wait, didn't everyone say that cancelling The Last of Us Factions 2 was like the best thing ever and the best thing? And now we're seeing, oh good, people should never have cancelled this. What the hell is going on here? I mean, seriously? Mate, these guys are flip-flopping quicker than a goddamn fish. But anyway, that's all I have for you for today. And, uh... Yeah, great news about Starfield and a bunch of games coming to Xbox. Uh, good updates for Forza Horizon. We've got the Chernobylite 2 as well. So really great stuff. And of course, Arcane. Won't hear much from it until next year now, but still something worth talking about and something worth bringing to the forefront. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have the discussion. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. You can support me further through my YouTube membership by clicking on that shiny join button. By clicking on that, you can get access to this content earlier. Cool emotes, among other things that you can use in the stream, as well as you can hit that super thanks if you really enjoyed the video. And also support me from my Patreon if that is what you wish to do. Right, all the links in the description below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.